Hi everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino, back for my post-market wrap-up on this lovely day. <laughs> March 14th, Wednesday, 2018. Okay, so, let's, uh, let's have a little talk, you and I. Uh, did you see the bond market today? Did you see the bond market? I mean, sincerely, unbelievable, off the Richter scale. They did everything that they could to try to prop up the stock market today, and it didn't work. This is the third day in a row of losses. Monday losses, Tuesday losses, Wednesday, today losses. This guy got this whole week wrong. Uh, thus far, and I and I I would be very surprised if we finish the week positive as of now. That's okay. Still, let's put a few things together here, people, because it's really out of control. So again, just so you know, I'm not pulling this out of a hat. If you're not watching this on my website, and I hope you are, do me a favor, and if you're watching this video anywhere else but on my website. Go to my website, truthchoice.net, because I'm going to cover a whole bunch of things that have to do with it, and I want you to see it. I want you to see what I'm talking about. All right. So, if you're on my website, glance over to the right side of the page just under the chat room. You will see the bond market. I mean, we're talking off the Richter scale. Um, what they tried to do today uh, didn't work. Doesn't mean it's not going to work tomorrow, but they tried and tried and tried to prop this up. People writing to me, Greg, are you looking at the bond market? Yeah. I'm looking at the bond market just like you are. Now, something else I want you to look at here. Right around the entire page are a whole bunch of charts. Most of them have to do with cryptocurrencies. There's also gold and silver. But look at the cryptocurrency sell-off. I mean, again, almost off the Richter scale. We found out today uh, that both Facebook and Google uh, are not going to allow ads um, that have anything to do with cryptocurrencies and that put a hit it hit the cryptocurrencies no doubt about it meanwhile they're they're okay with pretty much any kind of porn uh, and they're, you know they're okay with gambling and probably you know other things of course uh, but but no no not cryptocurrencies look this seems to be a war going on here with regard to cryptocurrencies. It's been going on for, well actually since the futures exchanges got their hands on Bitcoin and I warned everybody about it. I got laughed at, ridiculed, but guess what? This guy got that so right. Um, I, it's just unbelievable. And I was telling everyone, sell it, Bitcoin's at 20 grand, sell it. When it comes out in the futures market, not even my very best friends, and I know you watch this, listen to me and they uh, wish they did so so with that said we have this massive war here on cryptocurrency so with that going on here for now because this has been proven to be correct for months and months and months and months we may have to lay off the theory of it being a leading indicator because again there is an attack going on where this goes I'm not sure um, I've been pondering this a lot but we're going to keep track of it moving forward, honestly. Um, I have been buying Litecoin, for those of you that um, may be curious about that. No real big position. I've just been gathering a little bit of it just to keep my eye on it. That's how I kind of operate. We'll see how that plays out moving forward as well. Again, these are not trades. I'm kind of just acquiring it for now. Hold on to it for a little bit. Take a loss. Ah, if I do, I'll let you know. Same like Bitcoin. When I bought Bitcoin, I told all of you what happened. I think I made over 300% profit on my Bitcoin holdings. Ah, nice. Not too bad. All right, so what we need to do is, and I can't stress this enough, watch that bond market. They managed to suppress the 10-year yield. It was 2.80 last time I looked at it. Remember, it was like almost 3% at 2.97 or something like that. Well, they're squashing that down. They got to get it down. So cash will flow into the stock market. And, uh, you know, I think they're going to get desperate here because I believe this. And I, I know you probably do as well. So if they're willing to put in, I mean, could you imagine the staggering amount of cash 
they would have to push into the bond market to suppress rates like this, hundreds of billions. If they're going to do that, they're going to get in here and start buying stocks as well if it doesn't work. And I, I, we've seen this before. We're going to see it again. So let's keep an eye on the markets here. Uh, are we going to get a sell-off tomorrow as well? Four in a row? Be pretty rare. But uh, it's possible. You know, people are going to tell me, oh, Greg's a permable. I'm still bullish here on the market. Um, got this whole week wrong so far. No doubt about it. I got my trade on Intel. Totally wrong as well. But for the most part, if you've been following me my work, you know this is an anomaly. Um, I have been... I have been scary accurate with this market and with my stock picks. And uh, I added two more today. These right here. Oh, I forgot to put arrows here. All right. Uh, Netflix, I am down 2% on this trade. Facebook, I am up 3%. So, no arrows, but that's what's going on. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe they'll both turn into losers again. I, I'm not sure. But we'll be able to reassess what's going on. I, I believe uh, as long as these futures traders don't lose their minds and they start understanding that we are in this market of black and white, well, they got punished today. The futures traders, do you know what happened to you guys today? You're getting caught up in what I, what I warned you all about, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago. You have to understand, futures traders, that when we get a round of bad economic news like today, um, when we found out that retail sales missed for the third month in a row, you can't get in there and stop buying up this market. Because if you did, you got killed today. Killed. Uh, you have to understand that you got, maybe you should adopt the mindset that when we get good economic news, futures traders, we should bid up the market. When we get bad economic news, futures trader, <laughs> plural, you should you know, look to sell. You know, let's try to get into to some kind of a pattern of normalcy. You got it? Let it start with you, because you're the guys who are getting in, getting in there and girls are buying things up before the market even opens. Anyway, with that said, we'll see how all this plays out, and we will return to this exact spot in the morning, and I promise you, it's going to be fun. Over and out.